With a feature film, TV show, 12 albums, and maybe even a Broadway musical on the horizon, 2018 is proving to be a busy year for Lena Hall. The Tony Award winner stopped by to fill us in on everything, starting with her fantastic new EP, Obsessed, Hedwig and the Angry Itch. Hi, hey, Lena. How are you? Hi, Paul. How happy, are you? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. So good to see you. <laughs> you too. And you minute. already released one of my favorite albums of 2018. <laughs> this right here, Obsessed hey. Hedwig. Yeah. This, this is like really cool. This is an EP mm -hmm. of you singing six really notable Hedwig songs. Of course, you played Isaac on Broadway. You won a Tony Award in 2014. How's I your did. Tony? She's doing good. She's doing good? Yeah, okay. do she's you, like, doing good. Do you have interactions with her? or Every once in a while, okay. I'll go and spin her and say, oh yeah, that's right, I did that. <laughs> How did the idea of this album come about? A while ago, I did a show with Michael C. Hall at uh -huh. the Cafe Carlisle, which uh -huh. we called One of your many Hedwigs. You've had, you had <laughs> many, my many yeah. on Broadway. I really wanted to like con him into singing with me. I called up Michael, I was like, hey, so if you had to choose your favorite band, like who would it be? And he said Radiohead, and I was like, I'm a huge fan of Radiohead, been obsessed with Radiohead forever. And so I was like, perfect, we'll do all Radiohead, I'll call it Obsessed Radiohead. Um, scheduling never worked out, he's very popular. But I had this idea in my head of like doing kind of a, like a concert series thing called Obsessed, where, uh -huh. and then um, I did these music videos uh, yep. were just like these cover videos mm -hmm. called Stripped that mm -hmm. um, came out. I had an idea to have one video come out a week for an entire year. And then at the same time, I was recording these albums and calling them Obsessed. So I started with yep. Obsessed Radiohead mm -hmm. and I did a concert and I released that EP and then I did Obsessed David Bowie. And then I was about to release a Hedwig cover album and that's when Warner walked, like stepped in, Chickaboom, Ghost Life. Yeah. They stepped in, they were like, hey, we want to release your Hedwig album. So what's happened so far is yeah. that you've been releasing these weekly videos of, of yeah. these Hedwig songs. <laughs> so what's the long-term plan here? Basically, um, each artist gets its own month. Wow. So it's an EP a month wow. of one artist. And then it's a video a week for the entire year. So you have 12 EPs coming 12 out 12 EPs, year, 54 Which is amazing because people just like to songs. hear you sing. Yeah, 54 you're, songs. you're a fantastic, <laughs> I mean, your voice is phenomenal. Thank you. I mean, do you ever just listen to yourself and go, damn, that was good? Every once in a while, but usually I can't hear, listen to myself. Really? Yeah, but I'm like, I've been listening, so we already have everything recorded and uh -huh. done, so wow. I've been getting back all of the like mixes and then like watching the videos and stuff. So who are some of the other artists we're gonna hear you take on? Peter Gabriel, nice. Elton John, Pink, oh, cool. Beck, Nirvana, wow. Cranberries. Wow. Yeah, it lots, and it goes the scope. Um, I tried to keep a pretty wide scope and not like too narrow on mm -hmm. like my 90s childhood, you know, because mm -hmm. of course I always go back to that. Um, but <laughs> I tried to keep it kind of more broad to um, like songs that I listened to constantly, and then I looked more into the artist and you know researched more about like what I really loved about that artist. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it's fun. A lot of it is very nostalgic. What an amazing project. That's enormous. It's and, enormous. And of course, <laughs> you got to play Hedwig on the road. Yeah, yeah. And Hedwig, Hedwig in the Angry International Tour. And so people wanted you to record these songs. I they mean, did, yeah, yeah. They did, so, yeah. So th th it's great that you're kicking it off with this. Yeah, and I thought, you know, instead of doing like a full cast album sounding thing, I wanted to strip the songs yeah. down and give them uh, my own flavor, but also like it shines like a microscope on the songwriting itself mm -hmm. and also on the lyrics. So you can hear how beautifully written and crafted these songs are um, in their basic parts, mm -hmm. which was the whole idea of this mm -hmm. of this um, series. But this is not the only thing happening this year for you. No. This is a big, this is a big <laughs> year for Lena Hall. So <laughs> it was just announced that Snowpiercer, mm -hmm. which is a TNT series, you did the pilot. It yeah. was just announced for pickup. So this is yeah. you are going to be heading where to Canada and filming an entire an entire movie? season of like, Snowpiercer. Yeah, TV show. And Snowpiercer <laughs> for Broadway fans might not know Snowpiercer, but right. they should rent the movie. The movie's yeah. crazy. It's like this crazy. Uh, sci-fi, futuristic, mm -hmm. what, just give people a little bite of what it is. Well, we were trying to combat um, the global warming, uh -huh. and in doing so, they accidentally froze the world so that it's in uninhabitable. Everybody mm -hmm. died, and the only people who survived are on this train that goes around the world perpetually. It's the only inhabitable right. place, and the train is big enough to support yes. this tiny little ecosystem. So yes. it's almost like a spaceship, you know yeah, what I mean? Totally. Where it's very combined. What's interesting is the, t the, the movie, you know, you follow the rebellion through the train up to mm -hmm. the front but this you're gonna actually get to kind of experience each 
kind of part of the train from first class all the way to the back. So it's a it's about class wars. Yes. You know, it's all about that. And um, I'm stoked because I get to work with Jennifer Connelly and Duffy Diggs, and this cast is incredible. So yeah. to be like in this is like, you know, I, I couldn't have asked for a better way to have my first, yes. you know, yeah. it's series be a regular deal. on a, a TV <laughs> show. Uh, I haven't seen you in a while. I've been wanting to ask you, you have met Cher. Yes. This is something that's <laughs> happened because you've actually been involved in uh, readings and workshops of the Cher show. Yeah, yeah. The upcoming musical about Cher. And you play Cher, one uh -huh. of the three actresses playing Cher. You're a middle Cher. What, does she have a name? Cher Lady. De okay. Okay. <laughs> that, that Cher. And you've sung all these Cher songs in front of Cher. I, uh, is that terrifying? Playing Cher, which what what was Cher. it like knowing? And you're in a bright rehearsal room, so it's not like you can't see her. Right. How distracting is that? Like when you play someone who's actually alive and gonna watch you play themselves, you don't want them to feel like you're doing like an impersonation of or and something. And Cher has very, and a lot you, of people impersonate Cher. Exactly, and it needs to come from more of a real place, at least when you're telling a story in this way. Uh, there's like Cher impersonators, and then there's like you give it a flavor that makes it more real for right, an of audience. And, um, and so I was nervous that she wasn't gonna lie, but she loves it, loves me, and. I'm like stoked on that. So yeah, you, <laughs> like, actually, you interacted <laughs> with her. I got to meet her, okay. yeah. Playing Cher is really, 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 really fun. Yeah. And I know it's coming to Broadway and like hopefully, you know, the stars align, scheduling. I do have this TV show happening, so right. it would be a miracle <laughs> if it all worked out together. Because I also have a movie coming out. Yes. Talk yeah. About you have a movie, and it's, it's it's doing great in the film festival. Yeah, we won we won the LA Film Festival, yes. and we've been doing. What's it called? It's called Bex. Yeah. And it's kind of like Once, you know, the musical uh -huh, Once, yeah. where it's about a singer songwriter. It's like a independent film, um, very realistic, almost documentary. Like it's almost like a documentary. You know, mm -hmm. you feel really. It's very. Um, it, it's very personal. It's very s small. Mm -hmm. I guess mm -hmm. I, I don't I don't know um, how to describe it, but. It's crazy because it's like the music project and then, you know, the TV show and then hopefully and a Broadway movie. and a movie. I mean, what more could you need? <laughs> Although, the one more thing you might need, What's a that? reunion of the cast of a The Legally Search for Elle Woods. <laughs> I know that's in July. <laughs> that's actually happening at 54 Below, and you were, of course, one of the contestants. Yes, when, yeah. Back when you were a redhead. Maybe I'll go and watch. With a different name. Is, <laughs> is this something you're going to try to fit on your calendar? Do you want to go to, <laughs> what's it like to be yeah, invited to a reunion of a reality <laughs> show? That's bizarre. You know, prompted me to like take control of my career in a way. It was Doing like that the show. first, yeah, it was the first time where I was like, I really want this job. This is how I have to do it. It was a first yeah. for a lot of things, and then it, it kind of prompted this whole, kind of thought into myself as like a brand almost mm -hmm. and the name change and the hair yeah. change and all this kind of stuff. So it was one of those things that it's kind of the beginning of Lena Hall, I guess you mm -hmm. could say, because I yeah. was Selena Carvajal at the time. Yeah. And it was kind of the, the like, you know, one of the beginning seeds of yeah. that whole So is there change. a chance you would go to the reunion? I mean, I know you're busy. Is there a chance if, you're going to be there? Yeah, if my schedule works oh, out. Cool. That's you know, but that's the thing. It's like I can't. There's too much. I have no idea what's going on because I'm waiting to hear from scheduling. I know it's crazy. <laughs> well, I'm excited so, for you. It's, I'm excited no, that you're so I'm busy. I'm excited too. Like I'm so excited. <laughs> and in the meantime, every single month and every single week, you get the Obsessed series. So that's where we're starting the year. Yeah. Right now, this album came out this week. Dude, right? I'm already thinking about season two. You can, you can get it um, right now. You can go <laughs> download yeah, it. Obsessed download Hedwig, it. Lena Hall. It's incredible. And obviously, there's a lot more coming this year. A lot. I'm very excited. <laughs> so great to see you. Thank you, you Thanks too. for coming by. Of course.